So I am somewhere in Indiana, I think. Um, I had a unique opportunity come up, a weird chain of events, and I'm on my way to get a car super far away. It's like 20 hours away. So um, I'm on my way there in my, my truck. I didn't bring a trailer because I had an opportunity to buy a trailer there to make it easier, especially driving so long with my enclosed trailer. I got like nine miles per gallon. So um, I'm getting like 18 or 19 miles per gallon right now in my big dually. So um, if I can make 20 hours at 18 miles per gallon and then get the trailer there and come back with the car, um, it saves me a ton of money, like 500 bucks. And 500 bucks is 500 bucks. So um, I'm going to get this cool car. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I'd rather just put it in the video or whatever. Um, but I'm super excited about it. And I also don't like talking about things before they happen. Um, I don't like to call people and be like, yo, dude, I'm getting this. Because things happen. Things, you know, deals fall through and, you know, people go back on their word, yada, yada, yada. So um, I will update the video as I go along. But I am, you know, a few hours into this drive right now. So oh, I'm excited. This is going to be sweet. Just stopped in like five and a half hours in. I had to grab a coffee and some oatmeal. It's increasingly difficult because I am on like a new workout and diet plan to take my health and fitness more seriously. Uh, so I actually packed 10 meals and it's just, it's, it's hard. So like, I guess the pro is I can eat um, my meals worry about like where I'm gonna stop and get fast food and especially with the trailer and stuff. Fortunately right now I don't have a trailer but um, I won't have to worry about stopping and like, finding something decent to eat since my meals are prepped and packed and um, put them in a huge cooler, stop and get some ice. But um, press on. used to be like a kind of like a playboy matching grotto so it had a waterfall in the corner and it was organically shaped and then the previous owner put in this lab cool but dude it's so yeah it's a funky spot funky spot and the whole house is this stone the limestone
know it's just a cause to fix this. Now that we're friends, I can give you shit. You know what's funny? So, uh, we were getting one. Back it up. Okay. It's <laughs> it. For $500, I won't put you yeah. in the video. Oh, uh, if you spend six figures on a car, you have to push it around, by the way. If you ever buy from Bobby, you just know this is what you get. <laughs> right. I mean, I've had to mull over this for for some time. Oh my god! Yeah. There's no. I, I mean, this car from every angle. Every angle. It's just so good. There's not a bad. Like I love the front end look when the headlights are closed like this. I'm just like. Man, that's fucking clean, sexy. I like their light placement. Um, I like they didn't do too much with them, but they look really good. You want to do the dumb and dumb? <laughs> 250 thousand. That's a keeper. Yeah, I'm going to hang out with that one. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is I, when I got this, I was like, I was doing the uh, the vanity plate builder, and um, mine was for this car was going to be. Uh, T H R Y A G O. There you go. Where he's standing <laughs> out. All right, I'm here at Unnamed. It's Bobby. I'm here at Bobby's place, and we made a deal happen on the 91 Diablo. So I'm super excited. Um, we're getting ready to load the car up now, but we're gonna ghost ride it down his estate, and uh, I'll probably be inside, I guess, and try to steer around. And it looks good. It says it's phenomenal. I think he's gonna like jog behind me and keep the car going. So we're gonna load it like somewhere down there. We hurry this up, dude. Dang. Who would have thought I'd be buying a Diablo from the Spy Kids house? We're leaving Lamborghini Diablo number two in the inventory of staying with me. NFS, not for sale. Stoked. Now I have black and white. Now I just have to navigate out of these crazy hilly mountain roads. But yeah, I'm just unbelievably grateful and excited. stuck in a bit of traffic but um almost home like maybe six seven hours left or something and uh as far as like a 45 hour round trip this is technically almost home but i am still living off the high of grabbing another diablo so traffic doesn't bother me oh it's white yeah how do you know it's white because a little bit of red in the post that you made okay Behind door number two. <laughs> yeah, I get to unbox. <laughs> unbox reveal. Oh, see another Diablo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, it's so good.
insanely grateful. Um, it's it, this wasn't two big decisions for me. This was thousands of micro decisions that led up to this point, and um, it it's insane that it's actually real. It still hasn't hit it like it hasn't set in for me. So um, I don't know where to start, but uh, it's a '91. Same as the white one that I have. I'm probably gonna do the same things that I did to this one in terms of restoration. Um, a lot of things are coming off. They're gonna get re-zinc plated. Some things were done to this car that are not correct. Like um, someone painted the calipers, someone painted the little spoilers that go on the uh, wiper blades that are supposed to be carbon. So that's a sin. So I'm gonna take that, strip that down, get it back to carbon. Um, these mirrors in 91 are supposed to be gray, which is proper on my white car. Um, just the simple things. Um, I'm gonna go through it mechanically, pretty much everything I did on that, but um, it's, I'm super happy. Very, very happy. It's super dirty right now. It was literally almost like a barn find, um, technically out of the barn, so it was a barn find. Um, short and sweet. It is what it is. It's 91 Diablo, and there's two of them. So, stoked.